The location of the solar system's outer boundary is a point of contention among astronomers. There are three possible candidates which all have merit. But which one is best? The solar system is an enormous place. Our cosmic neighborhood includes eight planets, around half a dozen dwarf planets, several hundred moons and millions of asteroids and comets, all spinning around the sun, and in many cases each other at speeds of thousands of miles per hour, like a giant top. But where does it end? Well, the answer may depend on who you ask and how they define the solar system. There are not one, but three potential boundaries to the solar system, according to NASA. The Kuiper Belt, the ring of rocky bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune, the heliopause, the edge of the sun's magnetic field, and the Oort Cloud, a distant reservoir of comets that are barely visible from Earth. Kuiper Belt The Kuiper Belt stretches between 30 and 50 astronomical units a U away from the Sun, according to NASA. One astronomical unit is equal to the distance between Earth and the Sun. This region is filled with asteroids and dwarf planets, such as Pluto, that have been ejected from the inner solar system by one-sided gravitational tugs of war with the planets. Some astronomers argue that the Kuiper belt should be considered the edge of the solar system because it loosely represents the edge of where the sun's protoplanetary disk, the swirling ring of gas and dust that later became the planets, moons and asteroids would have been. In October 2023, the discovery of a dozen new objects beyond the Kuiper belt also hinted that there may be a second Kuiper belt lurking even further out. Some researchers argue that the uncertainty around this region's own outer edge therefore makes it an unreliable boundary for the solar system as a whole. Heliopause The heliopause is the outer edge of the sun's magnetic influence, known as the heliosphere. At this point, the stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, known as the solar wind, becomes too weak to repel the oncoming stream of radiation from stars and other cosmic entities in the Milky Way. Because the plasma inside the heliopause is of solar origin, and the plasma outside the heliopause is of interstellar origin, some people consider the heliopause to be the boundary of the solar system. As a result, the space beyond the heliopause is also often referred to as interstellar space, or the space between stars. Two spacecraft have traveled beyond the heliopause. Voyager 1 which made the crossing in 2012, and Voyager 2, which crossed over in 2018. As the Voyager probes crossed the heliopause, they quickly detected changes in the types and levels of magnetism and radiation hitting them, signifying that they had crossed some kind of border. However, despite its name, the heliosphere is not a perfect sphere. Instead, it is more of an oblong block because most of the interstellar plasma Bombarding the solar system hits us from one direction, which creates a bow shock, a rounded shock wave that deflects incoming radiation around the rest of the solar system. The bow shock is located around 120 AU from the Sun and creates a long tail that stretches at least 350 AU from the Sun in the opposite direction. Using the heliopause to delineate the solar system therefore leaves us with a lopsided neighborhood which goes against some researchers' perceptions of planetary systems. Oort Cloud According to NASA, the Oort Cloud is the furthest and most expansive potential solar system boundary, extending up to around 100,000 AU from the Sun. People who define the solar system as everything that is gravitationally bound to the Sun consider the edge of the Oort Cloud to be the edge of the solar system. For some researchers, this is the clear choice for a solar system boundary because, in theory, a planetary system consists of all objects orbiting a star. However, other researchers believe that because the Oort cloud is located in interstellar space, it lies beyond the solar system even if it is bound to our home star. There is also a large amount of uncertainty about where the Oort cloud actually ends 
which some would argue makes it just as unreliable a border as the Kuiper belt. Which boundary is best? Out of the three possible boundaries, the heliopause is the one that is most often used by researchers and by NASA to define the solar system's edge. This is because it is the easiest to pin down and because the magnetic properties on either side of it are significantly different. But that doesn't mean that everything beyond the heliopause should be considered an interstellar object, such as the enormous space rock. The Uit cloud was originally part of the same stuff that the planets were formed from, so it is composed of solar system material, not interstellar material. But while some researchers are happy to pick a side in this argument, others see no reason why the solar system cannot have multiple boundaries. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed our videos, subscribe to our channel for there's more to come.